All right, good morning, guys. We're back out on the Field of Dreams today. We've got our special guest with us, it's Marcus, Notch211. Uh, I spoke to the farmer the other week and asked if I could bring a friend just as a one-off. Um, I know a few people have been bugging me. They really want to come out on this field, but it really is just a one-off. And uh, Marcus is the, the lucky guy. So uh, hopefully we'll get him a, his first Roman coin. You haven't had a Roman. Never had a Roman coin. Right, so hopefully we'll get him his first Fingers Roman crossed. coin. Uh, I should have brought a few to scatter, so he could <laughs> give him a bit more chance. Um, so yeah, so we'll get cracking. We'll see you on the first target. It's a bit fresh, so let's get moving. Oh, what a beautiful day. Right, here's our first target. Uh, just in here. Looks like a button. Yeah, it's a button. Concave one. Broken shank. So, on to the next. Okay, next one up, we got a button. Uh, really, really deep hole. That was probably about eight to 10 inches deep, if that. Or at least rather um, some silvering on it but um, yeah not very good condition I think it's quite old though looks quite old broken shank uh, on to the next one there's mr. Marcus I haven't heard any whoops or hollers from him so I think he's having about as much luck as we are I think we just found the first coin the sun. Um, it's completely blank toasted no idea what it is it's really thin though uh, it's when we get home well, I don't think it's anything, unfortunately. Well, not anymore. Uh, right, on to the next. Alright, uh, we've got a button. Nice orangey colour. Get around the sun. Shank on the back, broken. I actually thought it was a coin when we first saw it. Pretty deep hole, this one. Um, our dear old friend, the musket ball. Uh, I've just spoken to Marcus. He's not found anything yet, so... Hopefully our luck will change and we'll start getting those coins out. Um, yeah, I really don't want this to be a wasted journey for him. <laughs> so we'll carry on. Okay, it's been a while since we found something. Um, don't know what this is, but it looks interesting. Very thin, got some gold gilt on the front there. Sort of plate or something, I don't know. Oh well, on to the next. There's Marcus. I wonder if he's actually found anything. Uh, we've just found another musket ball and it's an absolute stonker. It's a big one. But yeah, not really found much else, so we carry on. Right, so we do have a good news story today. It's been pretty slim pickings, but look at that smile. What's he found? <laughs> What's he got? Hard to see. It's very but, hard to see, especially on this camera. Yeah, but it's my very, very first. Roman coin. Yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> awesome. Mate, I'm so indebted to you. That is awesome. Brilliant. Thank I'll tell you, you what, so if much. you put a little composite pencil on that, you can probably bring out some more of that detail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's hope so. That's you just about, mate. You, you can see the portrait, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a little portrait facing right. Yeah, you'll have to check out Marcus's video. He's got <laughs> a better camera than me. First one ever. <laughs> Get awesome. it. Right, we've got something. I haven't looked at it any more than this, uh, but I've just shouted Marcus over. Oh, a big smile on his face. I haven't looked yet. I've just pulled it out. Oh, wow. Look at that. Right, hopefully you can hear me with the wind. Um, I think we might have a little Roman silver, possibly. It's good though. Definitely not the most spray. Yeah. Oh yes. I was gonna admire the Roman silver, but wow. You can see the head that on that. Oh, that's awesome as well. Oh, that's that's a thing of you spraying you in the face there. Oh my word! Right, we're gonna have to clean that a little bit better when we get home. There's some rot on it, but I think that's an Antoninus Pius. You know, that looks like the other one I've got. Right. Oh, wicked! Woo! Get in! <laughs> awesome. Right, on to the next one.
Alright, I think we've just got another Roman coin. If you look at the back, you can see a little bit of detail on there. Some writing around the outside, actually, which is quite clear. Um, I might have to give this a little clean. Hang on. Quite a nice one as well, I think. I've got detail. That is my best Roman copper or bronze or whatever they're made of. Non silver Roman, that is my best one by far. Look at that. You can see that portrait facing to the left there. The back is really nice too. That is awesome. Right, lunchtime. You can tell winter's coming, can't you? I am absolutely freezing. Right, we've just had lunch. Uh, Marcus very kindly bought a pack lunch for us both. Uh, slimming world friendly as well. Um, just a quick update on that. I've actually lost 11 and a half pounds in the last three weeks, so I'm well happy with that. Um, yeah, feeling good, eating good. Uh, so we're going out for the second half of the day now. Marcus is storming away as we speak because he wants uh, more Roman coins. I'm absolutely stoked with what we found so far. That Roman silver coin is just brilliant. And that other coin, I think it's bronze, isn't it? Um, not 100% sure whether they're copper or bronze. I think they're bronze. Um, well happy with that though. It's uh, really good quality. I'll add some pictures in afterwards. Um, so yeah, so let's get going. Let's see if we can get some more Roman coins. Okay guys, we've got a little edge in the clod. Let's reveal it together. So there we go, giving it a quick clean. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a rose type farthing. Uh, you can see the cross going through the crown there. And then if you flip it over, you've got a little rose orb in the middle. Pretty sure that's what it is. Charles the first, I think. So 1600 and something, I think. I'm guessing here. I'm pretty sure that's what it is from what I remember. Right, that's pretty cool. On to the next one. Okay, I think we've got half a coin. Uh, I think it might be half a Roman coin. Hang on, let's have a quick clean and check it out. Right, giving it a clean. Uh, it is indeed half a Roman coin. I uh, don't know if you can see the portrait just facing to the right there. Um, pretty sure it's bronze. Don't think it's silver. A little bit of detail on the back bit hard to make out um, but yeah cool so two and a half Roman coins are on I think to Marcus is one not that we're competing or anything <laughs> around to the next one right so I've just gone over to Marcus to show him my little half a Roman coin um, look what he's found he's only got a Saxon skeet or skia or skia however you say however you pronounce it um, this, I think it's the same as the first one that I ever found Look at that smile. <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome, isn't it? Get in. Uh, he's definitely winning now. Oh, I think. what a day. Oh, brilliant. What a day. Absolutely Thank brilliant. You so much, mate. No problem. Oh, Marcus is so happy with that ski. Um, I'm absolutely made up for you, mate. Incredible. Um, we found the Roman silver today so far, that Saxon skeet, and that's in much better condition than my one. Um, so I reckon that's going to be worth a few pennies. Um, although he has said not that he'd sell it, he's never going to sell that. Uh, I don't blame him because it's awesome. Right, let's carry on, see what else we can find. I right, just had this one up, uh, some sort of button slash, uh, I don't know, some kind of fixing. There's two little pins on the back rather than a shank. Um, yeah, not finding too much in the last hour and a half or so uh, since the epic skiat and uh, half Roman coin. So hopefully it'll improve a little bit again. Um, yeah, on to the next. Okay, so we just had a little fragment. I think it's a coin. Um, and I think it's a bit of a Roman coin. I think I can just about make out part of the portrait there. I don't know if you can see that very well. Um, a little bit of detail, not very much though, so uh, we'll carry on. Right, been finding lead all day. Um, don't mind finding bits of lead like this. Ugh, it's, it's probably gonna break if I'm not careful. Um, little bag seal, that's quite nice. Try and clean it a little bit, see if we get some of that muck off. Okay, giving that a really gentle clean. Um, 
Can't really make out much detail on it, but still pretty cool. On to the next. Just think we've had a coin. Um, it's kind of folded in half, so try and give it a clean. I'm not going to unfold it here. I'll probably do, well, I'll try that when we get home. Let's have a look and see what it is. Alright, there we go. Um, it did unfold slightly actually when I was cleaning it, um, trying to get the uh, crud out from in between. Um, yeah, it's toast, whatever it is. I'm guessing it's probably like a his half penny token or something like that. Maybe a Jetton. Um, really wafer thin. Uh, it's completely blank. It's toast as you like. So I don't think we're going to get anything off that, unfortunately. All right, on to the next one. All right, well, this is a pity. Um, I think we've got a broken Roman fibula. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, there's a detail on the front here. I think that's what it is. Let me know if I'm wrong. All right, guys, so uh, pretty average day today. <laughs> How'd you get on, Marcus? <laughs> Unbelievable. Awesome, Unbelievable. Two Romans and a Saxon ski. And a Saxon ski. And it's an what incredible Saxon ski. Thank I'm you so you, much, mate. mate. You need to get that one checked out. Oh, man. Um, yeah, well and then uh, my silver Roman as well. And then I thought I was ahead of you with uh, <laughs> the other Roman and uh, half a Roman. So, oh, mate, what an awesome day. I'm so yeah, happy. Um, great company, and, great fun. And, and it started out so bad, didn't it? Yeah, before, yeah. Like half hour before we stopped for lunch, there was just it was just nothing. <laughs> lead, loads and loads of lead, and then uh, and then the good finds started coming just before lunch, and, and they carried on. So yeah, really good day. Um, probably be out again next week uh, without Marcus, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.